welcome. Today I'm going to share with you my recipe for fried beak. And for this recipe I have two cups of flour, two teaspoons of yeast, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to start with two cups of water. I may or may not use all of this. So whatever I use in this, I'm going to leave the correct measurement down below. Some of you may need more water depending on the climate that you live. Some, some of you may need less. So I'll just put how much I use, but when you're making it, make sure you make it to the consistency that you see that I have made it. So let's get started on putting this together. To your flour, add your yeast, baking powder, and salt. Mix in everything together. And you're going to need this to create a nice medium dough. Once your dough has come together, you want to continue kneading this for an additional 5 minutes. I only used 1 cup of water to knead this, so I still have 1 cup left in here. So I'm going to continue kneading this until it's nice and smooth. When you're finished kneading your flour, and it's nice and smooth, you want to cover it and let it rest for an additional 5 minutes. After your flour has rested for that 5 minutes, you're going to break it into small balls or the size you would like your fry bakes to be. After you've made your loys or balls, you want to cover them again and let them sit for another 5 minutes before you start rolling them out. In the meantime, you can put up your oil to heat up on low. And once the 5 minutes is up, we'll go ahead to rolling out the balls and making our fry bakes. So I'm going to start to roll out my bakes i like to roll out all of them before i start frying them so just dust your surface lightly open them out a little and roll them out to the thickness that you would like So I'm going to roll mine out and I'm going to set them aside until I've rolled out all. And by the time I finish do that, my oil will be nice and hot. So make sure at this point you raise the temperature. Um, and once my oil is nice and hot, I'll move on onto frying these. When your oil is nice and hot and you've finished rolled out all of your bakes, you're going to start to fry them. One by one, well my pot is small, so I'm going to fry them one by one. I want to make sure and fry these on medium low because you don't want them to burn on the outside and not cook on the inside. So 
So you see how it's starting to swell and puff up? That's what you want and you also want it to get a nice brown color. Once they've gotten a nice golden brown color, you can go ahead and take them out and drain them on your paper towel. I'm going to continue frying my bakes until I've fried out all. So here you have it, my fried bake. Let me open one of these and show you guys how the inside looks. Now it just came off the heat so it's pretty hot. Now I like my bakes like this. I like it that it's nice and hollow on the inside so you can fill it with anything that you like. So you can even make my saltfish and bulgur or my smoked heron from the smoked heron sandwich recipe. Hope you guys try it. Um, make it, let me know if you like it. And thank you all for watching. I'll, and I'll see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!